sign should be taken here. Okay? So you know that if you are making the bending at this level, the arch will touch the volt of the pallet and you're not happy with that. So you take the reference here, but then when you will make the bend, you will shift a little bit in this direction, one or two millimeters. Okay? So that's the first step. Make an arch with this shape, which is um, compatible with the anatomy, and then you take on one side um, the, mm, the sign. And as you see, I've placed my arch in, uh, in the opposite way, because it's a type of but, but imagine that um, your patient is like that, you're working like this, and that's the way you're working with the right hand. Now, I, I need also the left hand to keep the, 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 the model and the wire and everything, so it's a little bit more complicated, but I'm coming with the right hand like this, and I'm working right very nicely on the left side. It would be more complicated for me to work on this side, unless I'm left-handed. If I'm left-handed, it would be better to work on the right side. Okay, so with this, we can, for example, this arch is a little, it's of course is expanded, but at this level, I don't need a perfect shape. I need something which is compatible. Take it out again, make it a little bit narrower, maybe I do another test, like this. Now maybe it's a little bit too narrow, let's try now. Okay, now the arch is probably not expanded. It's not going up or down. And I, st I should start thinking to insert the other side. But before doing it, let's give a look to it. You see here, there is a little angulation between the tube and the terminal part. So if you see this, instead of, if you already see it, instead of inserting and then see that it goes distal to the other part, just make a, a little correction. Or at least that's what I'm doing normally. Okay? So you see the angulation between the terminal and the tube. So this requires a little bit of correction. You already know it. Before making another test, I know that I need to open this angle here at this level. Now you see the angulation is really very close. And maybe the arch is a little bit, still a little bit expanded. Now the arch is in on the two sides, not completely. Okay, it's just at the beginning, but now is the time where you can really squeeze it and make it completely in. Okay, 
you can take it out from this side just to check again what's happening on the right side. And we, we can see that there is some torque. You see it? Now, what I've been doing until now, it was adjusting the left side so that the right side was uh, not showing any kind of activation. So I, I have also corrected the, the first order. In fact, you see that there is very little, maybe there is a little bit, but very little activation in this direction. But there is the third order, which is still here. So I will need to correct on the right side the third order and maybe a little bit the first order. So I'll take it out from here. I mean, I'm sorry, but I really can't do everything and letting you see it. I sh the correction of the third order should be something like that, okay? Now the torque is okay because it's very little. And I would say that this arch has a reasonable passivity. It's really hard to say this arch is 100% passive.